So in this short tutorial, I'm going to build on the, what we did previously with the uh, bar charts. And I'm going to do, a, instead of just a stack bar chart, a relative 100% stack bar chart. So let's clean up. This is my uh, working directory. I'm going to load up the ggplot2 and dplyr. No real need for tidyr, but I'll load it anyway. Uh, read in from the Dropbox, read in the um, the data frame, same one, Superstore, write it locally. And if we open it in Excel, I already uh, <coughs> put it in a pivot table. So let's insert the bar chart, the stack bar chart. That's what we basically started with. And so in Excel, um, let's change the chart type to 100% stacked and add data labels. So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to do. And the thing is, with this uh, type of, of quick action in Excel, you don't get the actual percentages when you add the data labels. You see the, uh, the uh, actual numbers. And if you do want to see percentages, you need to do a little bit more manipulation on the data and do uh, a percent of the row total. So. Uh, now we're at a uh, hundred percent and the labels are accordingly so let's see how to emulate that in R so as mentioned before make sure that the categorical fields are factors and coerce them if necessary it's not needed in this in this instance and let's first reshape the data so create that little pivot table again if you don't know this then go to the uh, appropriate videos on deep layer and how to manipulate the data uh, and so we get this little pivot table here with uh, our province the order priorities and the numbers of orders per each one and we're going to uh, load it our data frame our x uh, axis data uh, y axis data uh, to the um, to ggplot and so that's the basis of our foundation of our uh, um, of our chart all this we did before so there's nothing new here uh, if I just plot this then we're going to get or actually let me change back just so you can see where I added this so if I plot this we get our uh, regular stack chart that we uh, had before and all you need to add are the uh, position equals fill argument to the GM bar and for the labels position fill instead of position stack run the thing and we get what we want so this is uh, the same as the first instance that we did in Excel with the actual numbers and not the percentage, uh, the percentage numbers. So how do we change that? We do one more little manipulation on the data itself. Um, let's put it in uh, data frame two, and we're going to use the mutate to add a new column, which is percent of total, and that's rounding to two digits of total orders, which is the total. Uh, um, Remember, total orders is what we defined up here as the uh, counting of, of orders. And we're grouping by the province and order priority. So when I do divided by sum of total orders, that's going to do it for each one of those, uh, of those groups. So it's not going to run over the whole table, but only over that partition, uh, if, if, if you're familiar with the uh, SQL term. So let's run that. And that's our data frame two. Okay, so you see, if you see this uh, 19, 20, 20, 21, 20, that's going to add up to 100%, and that's going to be for Alberta, and so on down the line. And so we're going to put that into uh, the P2 list here. Okay, and now we're going to just run the same plot um, as before but on percent of totals instead of where we first ran it on, on uh, total orders and uh, percent of total here on the y-axis okay instead of total orders here 
and we're going to get the same plot with the uh, percentages nice and neat inside. So that's how you create the uh, stack 100% and we'll have one more in the series on how to add additional um, uh, data series if you want to have more than one data series on the x-axis. Uh, so until then, hope you find this useful. Um, feel free to comment and send suggestions. Uh, thanks for watching.